Hi, I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. I'm going to show you how to download fonts using the default website, so stay tuned. But first, please click and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified of future videos. So let's get started. You will need to go to dafont.com and you can see that there is an alphabet on here. So if you know the font title, you can click the letter in the alphabet that you want. As you scroll down, you will notice that there's peace signs on here. So don't forget that some fonts are shapes and images that you can download also. So I'm going to type in the font that I want, which is this welcome font. And I'm going to go to the right side where it says download and hit that download button. And you can see at the bottom left where it downloaded, click the arrow and click show in folder. This will bring up all of your folders in the system. You need to click on the welcome one because that was the title of the font that we downloaded and click the extract all button. Now, I like to browse and save mine in a specific folder. If you don't care where it goes, you could just hit extract. So I'm going to find my Microsoft OneDrive account. That way I can keep everything on the cloud and I don't have to take up space on my hard drive on my computer. So I'm just clicking on the font folder that I save and then I'm going to hit extract on here. Once you extract it, you will need to go to the title of your font click on it, and then click the install button up at the top right here. This will take just a moment to install on your computer, and then you can X out of all of your browser windows. Once you have all your windows closed, you can open up Brother Canvas, click on the text icon, then you can scroll down and look at all of your fonts that you have on your computer. And you will find the one that you just downloaded, which is the welcome one right there. And I did not have to restart my computer or anything like that. It just automatically showed in once I hit that install button. But if you don't find it, I would do a start restart on your computer to see if it doesn't pop up. Now you noticed as I typed in that welcome, it had the swirls at the beginning and the end. But as I went and zoomed in, it just disappeared and unfortunately that is with brother canvas it doesn't recognize the extra characters that the fonts have so if you want those swirls you will have to do that in a different program and bring it in as an svg file and i do plan on doing that as an extra video later on in the future so be looking for that video as i go back through and open up my welcome type font you can see all of the characters that are included in your font that you just downloaded so unfortunately right now brother scan and cut canvas does not offer the extra characters but hopefully in the future maybe that would be an update that they can look at and you can go through and change your colors like normal and everything so I hope that this video helped you. If it did, please tell others and share this video with others that might be struggling with downloading fonts on their computer. And also please click and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for joining me today.